Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with these jokers. We're heading to 5 Watts Roasting Facility to pick what will become Motion City Soundtrack's signature Panic Station's coffee blend. Come and join us. I've been dying to hear what you're going through. I've been trying to find out what's up with you. There are too many secrets. I can't believe myself. It's Lee. Oh. <laughs> How's it going? Let me see it. All right, we got a, a bunch of delicious coffee for you guys here today. And one of these is going to be the coffee in your Panic Stations blend. What's this one? This. Mmm, <laughs> that's delicious. Oh, so I talked with you guys about what you look for in a coffee. I uh, worked with our head roaster, Sean, to dial in what we think is the coffee you're going to like the best. So we've got okay. different roast profiles and different blend percentages of the two coffees, as well as one mystery coffee somewhere in here. Which one? Well, uh, I'll tell you afterwards. Oh, it's a mystery. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. All right, you guys ready to get tasting? I am ready. Yes. But the chances of that ever happening are a million to one and diminishing. There's a sadness I feel when I think of all that could happen. All right, now that we've let the coffee sit for about four minutes, we're going to do something called breaking the crust. We're gonna place the spoon by the edge of the coffee here, press down gently. As you push the grounds back, you can just get the aroma of the coffee that's underneath. It smells like heaven. Mm. What, what, what do you smell? Do you smell anything? Well, there's a lot of coffee I got. Coffee aromas? Coffee. coffee aromas? Good, it means we're doing all right. Yeah. <laughs> that is dark and rich and thick. Smells like teen spirit. Oh. Uh, I think it's a winner. That's great. Did you love it? Love it. He's crossing the spoons. Crossing the spoons, getting all the bubbly things out. It's like surgery. It is. Just carefully removing it's exactly all the, like surgery. All the bubblies. That's how they got my appendix out. Oh yeah, two, two, two spoons. <laughs> no? Is that too soon? Yeah. Too soon, Joe? Two spoon. <laughs> two spoon, two spoon. <laughs> Now it's time to actually taste the coffee. Oh! Boom! <clears throat> okay. Ooh, that's tasty. Devouring left and right. The rest of our lives. I always hated those techno songs. You put on my comp. These two, there's something similar about them in this like aftertaste. There's like an aftertaste to them. You guys are noticing similarities between these two and these two. That's great because these are the same blends but different roast profiles. This definitely has more just roastiness to it because it's a darker coffee. You're gonna be noticing a little more nuance with this coffee because it's a little bit lighter in the roast profile. Mm. It's not necessarily true that lighter or darker is better. It's always subjective to the coffee. Well, I can say that I think I think I agree with Jesse. I like the lighter stuff. Even on my, my tasting, like I, I dug these two. That one is like a, a, a you know, what is it, like a freight train like smashing you in the <laughs> face. I don't know. I, I feel like this could this is great for like a cup. Yeah. But I'm the kind of person that likes to drink ten cups in a row. Yeah. And I feel like that would kill me. So I think, I think I, I gotta go with the light. This one has a slight brightness to it that makes it taste a little bit smoother to me. Yeah, mm. I agree. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with Boom. I think it's the smooth, I think this yeah. is the one. That's the one? Yeah. So what we're one. looking at is uh, just a two-thirds Costa Rica and one-third El Salvador. It's a little bit lighter. It's the one. That's the one. That's the one. All right. My little guy. Is this is my little guy. How are you doing? Oh. <laughs> That's great. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's great. Thank Knocked you. it out of the park, guys. <laughs> Thanks for spending time with us. Make sure and pick up your copy of Panic Station's The Coffee at 5 Watt Coffee Shop on the corner of 38th and Nicolet in South Minneapolis. Uh, we've limited the coffee to 200 bags in totality. So make sure and pick yours up sooner rather than later. Each one comes with a download of our song, Lose Control. And in five separate bags, we've hidden uh, downloads to the entire album Panic Station. And in five other separate bags, we've hidden two tickets each to come see us October 25th at First Avenue. So come on down and get your bag on. Mm. <laughs>